This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a geometry problem here that uses circles. Now, they actually want us to find the y coordinate of point t. That's the end result. And we've been told that r is the center of the circle. So if we know the location of r, and we know the size of the radius, we should be able to figure out t. Now we've been told that coming off at a right angle from the y-axis is a radius of the circle. So here's a radius, and the radius goes out 4 away from the x-axis. So the radius is equal to 4. And it's at a height of negative 1.5. So we actually know the coordinates of point r. r is at the point 0 negative 1.5. Now the point t will have a coordinate, x coordinate of 0. The question is what's the height? Well we know we're starting 1.5 below the x-axis, which I just named, and we need to travel a distance of 4. So we're going to end up 2.5 above the x-axis when we get to point t, and that's answer choice c. Now if you want an algebraic way to calculate that, you can use the distance formula. The distance formula is very similar to the Pythagorean theorem. And the distance formula basically says the distance is equal to the square root of x2 see, let's write this slightly different x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And you can put coordinate pairs in here. So we're trying to figure out um, a distance of 4. And we have these two points. So this is, let's say, x1, y1. And point t is x2, y2. Well, you can plug all those values in and solve to find the value of y2. So let's try that. So x2 is 0, x1 is 0 squared. y2 is the unknown. We already calculated it over there, but I'm saying this is how you would do it if you, if you didn't know that. Minus y1, which was negative 1.5 squared. And if we simplify this a little bit, what we end up with is 4 is equal to y2 minus negative 1.5. And let's add negative 1.5 to both sides. And what we'll end up with is 2.5 equals y2. which is the same result. So you could have gone through this equation if you want, but I think you can probably do um, a logical method instead, which will allow you to see that 2.5 and negative 1.5 add to be 4, which is the radius.